Hello, everyone! Hello! Welcome to Board Game House, where three friends play board games on the internet for you. Alright, Aldot, no worries. No worries, Aldot. Hello, Felix. Hello, Sunshiny. Hello, Bormeyer. How are you guys this evening? Worries. Hello, Hi, Ryu. Ryu. Uh, so tonight we are playing Gloomhaven. This looks like a big old glare on it tonight. It generally does. Actually, if I go over here, <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's gloom. I'm good. We have tomorrow off, so yay. Yeah, anyone that, to the United States, chance out you have tomorrow off, so congratulations. Happy Independence Day. I know a couple of days ago we celebrated... Canada Day. Canada. Uh, Canadian Day for all of our friends up north. Uh, before we begin, a few quick announcements. Uh, first... Gen Con's coming up. Yeah! Uh, super excited about Gen Con. Uh, if you're going, let us know. We'd love to meet up with everyone. Uh, you can always wear things like this if you want. We'll be wearing things like this, which will let you know who we are. I mean, turns out you know who we are, but... Um, but if you're going, we're having a meetup on the Saturday of Gen Con. We'd love to see you there. Just let us know. Um, in the Discord, there is a Gen Con uh, channel. Uh, if you go in there and underneath the uh, book, underneath the pinned uh, messages, you'll see there's like a little form to fill out. We're trying to get a basic headcount so we can let the place we're going know. It is a combined meetup with us and the fr our friends over at Wormwood Gaming. The Wormlings! So it's going to be the Wormlings in the neighborhood together. The Neighborwood. Wormwood. Neighborwood. Neighborwood. Mm, I like Wormwood better. Wormhood? I mean, I guess we're like in the Wormhood. But... <laughs> um let's see other things about gen con that are going up going on uh this part's not a secret uh we got permission from gen con to actually film at gen con so we hopefully have some extra content for you guys on our youtube as long as we aren't annoying me he seemed very aggravated the person that emailed you back <laughs> no i think he was just very just make sure you're not doing this like, I, I think that they're kind of busy right now. With the caveat. Yeah, the caveat, we can't interrupt we can't, attendance, attendees. Yeah, I can't, we can't annoy attendees. Which so we can't we shove our camera in people's faces, which... Which we wouldn't do that Darn, anyways. hate that. Uh, but, so we will hopefully be having some extra content from Gen Con up on our YouTube at some point uh, from our escapades and shenanigans at Gen Con. Shenanigans! Um... Oh! Don't let her climb. Be careful. She can't really climb. She got her nails trimmed. Be careful with her belly. Uh, Lynx got fixed two days ago, so she's still a uh, little tender, but she's being a good girl. <laughs> we got things. We haven't gotten to look at them yet, though. Oh, yes. We're going to look at them first. Okay, well, don't put them on camera, please, because it has my address on it. Well, you keep talking while I try and open this box that won't open. Um, well, this is Gen Con related, but everything else I talk about doesn't Gen Con related. Well, just talk about something else, then. Oh, because there's... T no, you cut I cut all the tape. No, I want to do it. Got this. There you go. So we got something in the mail today. Ooh, those are pretty. Mm -hmm. I like do the wanna, silver. Do you want to show it to the camera? I, I don't know if the camera's going to give it do it justice. I will them? show it. Pull up more than one of those just because of the fact that they have different colorations. I like that one. I like that one. Can, Can I have one of those, please? Please hold. Please hold for me. Look! Hey, what the fuck? Don't do that. You can wear these fancy things around so people know who you are. Well, ish. Ish. Fancy things! Uh, other things that are going on. Our friend who happens to be in chat right now, Family Game Night WV. Uh, Chris will be joining us 
on Friday. Really and hype! <laughs> we are going to be playing. Uh, we'll be playing Thanos Rising, which is a game that he really likes, and he's going to come teach it to us. We don't know a whole lot about it, but we're excited. Uh, and we're excited for him to hey. come and spend an hey. evening with us. Hey. 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 Lynx, stop it, otherwise you're going to go in the bathroom. No. I think these are small. I don't think no, so. Not. These are the same size as all the other ones. Mm, they maybe just... Hey, stop it. Ribbon high! <laughs> uh, that's the main two things that I have right now. Ah! Alright, I'm going to take her out so she stops destroying stop. our soundproofing. Lynx, come here. I guess I'll start mine. We are at well, how much? Four hundred and seventy-one followers, which means we are twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Thanks, man. Twenty-nine away from five hundred followers, which is our goal for July. Which it's finally July. Finally. It's not like June is real short. So. Spread the word. Spread the good word of a BGH. Jesus, oh. A BGH. <laughs> spread the BGH. good. Spread the good word of. Spread the good word of BGH. Jesus. BGH. <laughs> and you'll get ribbons. A Gen Con. A Gen Con. Hello, Ancient Wings. Hello, Chalice. Hello, Librarian Liz. Oh. Liz, right. look. Ribbon hype, ribbon hype, ribbon hype. All right, we got them today. If you're going to be a Gen Con, come find us. We'll be posting where we are occasionally when we remember. Yeah, but you'll definitely see us around, and we'll make sure we get you one of those. <laughs> yes, next will, next will be the BGH pens. Pens are expensive. Um, <clears throat> anything else we need to talk about? Or are we going to try to set up the game well, for they, this are evening? Are we not doing your thing tonight? Is that starting already? Yes. Okay. Derek's Kickstarter Corner is going to be moved to one night a week. Monday. Doing it on Mondays now. Because I just end up saying the same thing. Hi, Doom Drake. But yes, so. Derek's Kickstarter. Yeah, wow. You can do it. Derek's Kickstarter Corner, we're going to do it one night a week. It'll be on Mondays. So you'll have to hold all of your singing and dancing for Mondays. All right. See you, Librarian Liz. Bye, Liz. All right. So tonight, we're finally getting back to playing Gloomhaven, which we haven't played in a couple of weeks. So super excited about that. I've forgotten how to play. No, you haven't. You'll remember. What did you do with the ribbons? They're over there. Oh, I was going to put them back in the box and set them on the ground. All right, so what do we need out for this? I'm going to turn the music on already. So much stuff. What are your plans for the 4th of July, if you have any? Oh, that's if I'm going to get into my workout or not tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right, so first let's set up this. So the one we decided to do at the end of last session was the Frozen Hollows. Y'all, 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 Mary McGlynn just liked our tweet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh. if you guys don't know, uh, oh. Mary McGlynn, who has been seen, wait, 
<laughs> on, on, who has been seen on, uh... What the raw fuck? <laughs> what? We're not gonna let her come into your apartment, right? If she wants to come play games, absolutely. Mary McGlynn just like our tweet. So I posted out there... What if she brings Steve? That she, uh, she's gonna be coming to Charleston for a con in October. Um, and I, I tweeted out to her and said, Hey, Mary, you know, we hear you're going to be in Charleston for SwastikaCon in October. There's not a whole lot to do here. So if you want to come play games with a couple of critters, let us know. And she liked our tweet. Didn't reply to it, but she liked it. So. All right. So that goes there. And then K2A. I don't think I'm going to get into this class tomorrow. Goes there. And I'm one short on the amount of demons we're supposed to have. Well, it's probably because they don't appear. I also don't know what these are. <laughs> They're holes. Yeah. So, there is like a 1% chance. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> but there's like a one percent chance that we may see Mary on this stream at some point. I, I feel like that is not right. It's this way, like that. Hmm. Oh, it's like this. Well, we may need to push it. Depending okay, on... but let's set it up like this because last time we switched it and we. Okay. What I'm saying it, is, let's scoot it up. up here so they can see everything. I set it up. And wrong. then once we're through this room, we can then scoot everything down because okay. we start down here. Okay. Well, I got all these guys out. Okay, so we need. It's the top right corner, correct? Hmm. For three people? Yes, it's this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we need the white and yellow one. We need one, two, three, four wolves. 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 Hounds, actually. Hound. And we need two of the living spirits. And then we also... Give me bags. Uh, I think I have the wrong bag of bags. We need these I have two. the hounds. I definitely have the hounds. How many hounds? Uh, right now, we need one, two, three, four hounds and two living spirits. Four hounds. I do not have the living spirits over here. Uh, you? I think you pulled, you pulled them out. No, I pulled out the, the ah. frost demons. Check that out. Yes, they're in here. Uh, not that, I mean. One, two. I don't know. We'll talk. We can talk about that when you come over, Chris. But I don't think we're actually thinking about streaming at, uh, at SpotsCon. We were just talking. We just, I jokingly put out a tweet there. I haven't even been to uh, About her coming here to play with us. Because she's going to be right here in Charleston. So. Yay. But we can talk about that when you come over and see. Thank you what your thoughts and stuff are. I don't or think it's even plausible. Yes. Megan won't be able to speak and I won't be able to speak. Yes, but she can speak the whole time. For those of you who don't know, when I meet somebody that I really am like... It's not even like really a celebrity thing. It's somebody that I have a lot of respect for. Sure. I, I can't... I can't speak words don't come out of my mouth. Yeah. Because, like, there are certain people that I feel like I could, like, talk to. Like, I wouldn't, like, fangirl in the way that I would others. Mm. But I know for a fact Matt Mercer is one of those people that I can't talk in front of. You talked in front of him, though. I talked to him very little. I did say words, which is more than usually happens. Mm -hmm. I did not say many things to 
David Tennant. Four. Level two. Level two. You're the only level two, aren't you? Correct. When did you get level two, though? Last round. Yeah, last game. We went back to the city. Did we go to the city? Yeah, we went back to the city. What am I looking for? I'm... I have four of these uh, living spirits. Is that what I I'm mean, looking for? Oh, here's one, five. Two. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Because so I don't think these work like doors. Well, we'll find out. I still don't know what those are. Hounds. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. <sighs> so if you were unaware... Gloomhaven is a large game. It's basically like a board game version of like a tabletop RPG. You have a character. The character has special abilities. Um, you are basically going through pre-populated dungeons and then you have a book that acts as the dungeon master. Um, I don't want to say it's complicated, but it is convoluted? I guess. Why would you say it's complicated? I'd say it's I would say it's complicated, but not convoluted. I would say it's complicated. It's complicated. Um, the setup is big. You have to try. At least for our purposes, we try and get all of the stuff that we're going to need for the whole level out first, which is what we're currently doing, which is a lot of stuff. And as we continue to go on, it's going to get bigger. This is our fourth or fifth time doing this okay. um and at the end of the game you're going to get coins for stuff that you collect and you're going to get experience points based on what you did in the round um and then you can go back to gloomhaven which is the main city and then do city events but then you have to do road events on the way and then when you're done with each level it then opens up more levels for you to choose from. Um, and then there's a large map that I don't think we had out earlier um, where you have to put stickers on to show you all the different places you can go. What are you looking for? Um, but the game comes... We're playing three of the characters, and I think that there's ten different characters that you can play. Um... And push comes to shove, if you ever want to stop playing the character that you're currently playing, you can switch, or if for some reason they would die, I'm not really sure how that works, you would then choose another one. Um, There's more than ten characters, by the way. More than ten? Yeah. But, basi but basically, it just it's a board game version of an RPG. I can't find the stalagmites and the stalactites. Well, stalagmites and the rock columns. Uh, those are actual just on... Um... Oops. Can a mod fix that? No, we are fancy. It's spoliers. Sp spoliers. Oh, it might be in there. Uh, no, that's the double one. Hold on. Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, Chalice. Or, uh, Alkali. Alkali. Nope, not there. But it's going to be in a bag that just has... That one. Hounds. And... Um, oh, and also this game is sponsored by our friends over at kickstartedgames.com. Um, they reached out to us and asked if um, we could do like a sponsored thing. And then they sent us some stuff. Yep, and we've it. done some giveaways from the stuff that they uh, sent us. And we have more stuff to give away from stuff that they've sent us. But they sent us Gloomhaven. Um, so that they could sponsor our entire playthrough of that. Um, it's a really great website. You can pick up games that have been previously kickstarted on Kickstarter. Um, you can just go to their website and pick them up. They have a bunch of stuff on pre-order, um, stuff that got funded but isn't available yet. Um, like? It's a... Uh, Oceans. Is Oceans on there? Mm -hmm. I packed a game called Oceans. It is the sequel to a game called Evolution that I really enjoy. Um, but it got fully funded on Kickstarter last month, or the beginning of last month, the end of March or May. I don't know. 
But you can go on to kickstartergames.com right now and you can pre-order that so you can get your copy when it does become available. So like if you miss the Kickstarter or if there if there's just something on there that you think is cool, um, definitely go support them. The link is right there in the chat now. Um I'm just vamping at this point. I think Keep we're vamping. Just about you're doing real well. Uh, give me I only gotta find two more things, so Spider-Man was great. Definitely go see it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but Nerdist got, um, was getting ripped today because they posted an article um, about something, and I'm not going to say what it is, but it involves spoilers that aren't really spoilers if you know. Do not go more. and see Spider-Man if you haven't seen Endgame. It is a heavy heavy sequel to Endgame, like right off the heels. Well, also, that's not what it was. It was right, no, it was I, I know what it yeah. was. Um, but I will say that as a big Spider-Man fanboy, I enjoyed it so much. The characters that they brought in for this one were so good, so spot on to what I wanted. I did it. I found everything. Okay. And it definitely sets up the MCU going forward post Endgame. Um, and I was skeptical when they decided to make this the actual uh, final finished. movie in Phase 4, ending the Infinity Gauntlet story arc, but it was so good, and it, and it did such a good job of sort of being a bookend, as well as in, in the tag scene, in both tag scenes, there are two, there's one immediately after the front credits, and then after everything rolls, there's a... Honestly, I think it's the longest post credit scene uh, in the MCU so far. So definitely stay to the very end of the credits because there's some good info in there. Um, both of the tag scenes have good info for what's going to happen moving forward, but definitely stay in there for both of them. I do want to go see the new... I'm only putting out just this first um, The yeah. new well, Conjuring that's what movie. That's we usually do. Annabelle Comes Home. Well, I do want to go see that. Stuff. Okay. Um, I just want these out, so I don't have to do it in a minute. Mid and that comes out this weekend, and Midsummer came out yesterday as well, and I do really want to see that. People have really enjoyed Midsummer. I want to see I, Midsummer. It looks so good. Did it? Okay, what about the, the scary thing? Yeah. Do we know what that is? Nope. I'm assuming that's going to tell us. All right. Well, I need to set up the where the monsters go. Okay. Um, here, you set up for the monsters. I'm going to keep setting this up. You did good vamping. We're setting up the monsters now. <sighs> you all, this dress has pockets. Okay, so the four of us... It's the most important thing. In any of these areas that we want. Okay. I'm going to go there. Oops, I opened it from the bottom. Okay. So we want to start reading the scenario. Oh, uh, wait, we have to do a road card, don't we? We did it last time. Did we do the road card last We time? weren't supposed to do it when we came back to Gloomhaven, but we did it anyway, so we just used it. That's right. We left. Okay. Which, yeah, which, which ones? Uh, these five, I think. No, any, yeah, these yeah, five. Yeah, those right five. These? Yes, those five. Here, you go ahead and pick where you want to go. I can put mine in there in a minute. Oh no, we don't have any pencils! Oh no! Is this range of three? What? That's four. That's four, yeah. Pause. And can we can we split up movement? No. Yes, we can. Yeah, oh, no, you can only if you're opening a door. One, two, three, four, five. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Why is that 22? That's because that is mine. I don't know why that's in there. And that one. Oh, I have a... Or whoever is deck number one. You're supposed to have that. So you use it, you have that. Well, I did ha I did use it. Cause you I had two. It, yeah, but this isn't in my deck that was... Oh, you used it? Okay. Must have, I must have used it. So these take it. Uh, okay. But it says we have to all start with the three negative ones, doesn't it? I was getting there. I haven't gotten there yet. It's something like that, yes. But I was waiting until we read the, the thing. All right. But you skipped ahead. Okay, I think that I am ready, finally. That's Thank you for your patience, guys. But I still don't have a pencil. None of us do. There's one over there. We can share. Okay. And we begin. Our goal is to kill all the enemies. An enchanter has been called for, so an enchanter must be found. Following reports of an... Oh, poopy. Aether? Aether, yeah. Aether in the boiler district. You find yourself standing before an abandoned and decrepit tavern, the Crooked Bone. Opening the door, the inside looks exactly as the outside advertised. Spiderwebs, splintered stools, and dusty, broken glass. Stepping past the threshold... A translucent female suddenly appears before you. Why have you come to this why have you come to this place, mercenaries? Your presence is unwanted, and you are disrupting my research. You quickly explain you have come, and the woman woman's frown deepens. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that ether woman. She can fulfill all our wishes. All she has to do is wave her hands, and her wildest dreams will come true. She sighs in frustration and actually does wave her hands. Leave me in peace. You don't move. She stares. Well, instead of disrupting, then maybe you could help. Scratch my back, maybe I'll scratch yours. That's how these things work, right? The woman turns and walks toward a destroyed set of stairs, but after a few steps, she fades away entirely. I need an orb from the frozen hollow in the Copperneck Mountains. The woman's voice comes from directly in front of you, as if she hadn't moved at all. Bring it back to me, and I may help you. A map drops at your feet. My name is Hale, by the way. Do not come back without the orb. The map is easy to follow. Deep in the Copperneck Mountains, obscured by snow drifts, you find the opening to a dark, narrow cave. The wolf tracks around the entrance are troubling, but with a firm resolve, you enter. Add three negative one cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario event. We also need uh, individual goal cards. Yes, we do. Hello, pine sized princess! Oh, look, we're actually starting this by 7 30. That's actually pretty good for us. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm squishy. Where the hell is... They're tiny. Hey, that's exciting. Doing what?
collect your gold cards. Ready to begin. Yes. I'm making sure. That's the monster deck. This is my deck. Things from what? I'm double checking that. Um, ah, yeah. Oh, nice. Worth it. Nice. So do, do we know what this is? Nope, doesn't say. Literally doesn't say. I mean, it looks like it's just fog or something. Maybe people on the other side can't see through it. Yeah, maybe you just can't see through it, but you have to move through it. Because it doesn't look, it's not a hole, it's just Can mist. I have the, uh... Rules? The rules? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Seeing the rolling stones? Yep. They're pretty old. But they still rock real hard. <sighs> Mix got those moves like Jagger. He make them moves like Jagger. And moves like Jagger. It's blue. Oh, it's considered a door. Wait. Oh. What? I would have chosen my other one then. Well, you can. Here. It's one of those two. I'm not sure which one. You can open doors? Yeah. I was like, I can't do either of these things because there aren't any doors. Got it. Okay. So, just so we know what we're up against right now. So, the hounds, the yellow ones have six health mm -hmm. and attack of two. Okay. The white ones have four health and attack of two. Uh, the white ones have a move of three. The gold ones have a move of five. And up here, uh, there are kind of two move and two health and to attack for the white guy, and for the gold one, it is three of everything. Okay. And they also have range. Living spirits have range. Okay. And reminder that you can move through teammates, because I always forget that. Yes. And I'm putting all my equipment out. I'm going to swap to the side. <coughs> what is that? RBG! Hello, RBG! Hello! Hello, people from the RBG. Welcome, Raiders! Raid? RBG, how are you? How is your stream? What were you playing? I Dream think he was Daddy. playing Dream Daddy. Yep. Dad dating simulator. Dad dating. I mean, no judgment. That just sounds weird. <laughs> Dream Daddy. Nice, nice, nice. All right. One, two, three, four, so, five, this is. Try these. They're so good. I don't like avocado. It doesn't taste like avocado. It's just avocado oil. Oh. Good. Tastes like ice. They're whole 30 approved. Because it's only. Oh, excellent. It's only potatoes, avocado oil, and Himalayan oh. sea salt. Go, go, go. <gasps> RBG! RBG! Six months. Six months. We're glad that you found us as well. I thought it was so brief. Oh wait, was three months a reef and six months is a weather vane? <laughs> the 
<laughs> that was amazing. So more important to get rid of the Ooh, the spirits have shield. The spirits do have shield. Now, if I like say I were to attack multiple people, do I draw one card for each person? Huh? If my attack does multiple people, I draw a yes. card for, one each, for each thing. Okay. That just seems dumb. Oof. Um. I think I'm going to go late, but do some damage. I'm also going late. Piercing bow and stamina potion. All right, actually, Good. Have we decided what Gloomhaven noises are? I don't think we have. So it's not it for Gen Con. Alright, I'm gonna do this, so I'm not Yeah. Hopefully I can provoke them to me. Alright. Ready? Them first. What? Them first. Hounds. Seventy two. And Living Spirits. Sixty seven. Cool. Not what I was expecting, okay. 19. 69. 15. I thought you were going late. I thought I was, and then I changed my mind what I wanted to do. But that would have been nice to know. Um, I thought I was going to go after them. So this actually completely changes everything that I was going to do. I mean, you can use that as your initiative. It doesn't have to be your lowest. All right, I'm using 54. Which makes you go first. Okay, I shoot them. Okay. Now first I'm going to summon my decoy. Okay, you're going to summon it. So you're going to shoot them? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Summon a decoy. Gets me two points. And he stays out there. 
And then I'm going to one, two, three, shoot them. Is it a range of three? Or? Range of three. I think one of them has to be within the three. Well, no, that's just where it starts. This is the It's an area of effect as long as I hit right here. It's a net. Yeah. Okay, so which ones is it going to hit? These two. Okay. Uh, they are... Uh, I get one for each target enemy targeted, which is two. And it's an attack of three. So this boy gets doubled up on. That guy is six, right? Yeah, and he's immobilized. Well, he's actually dead. Okay, great. And the other one is a plus one, so it's four. So it's four foot damage on that one. Uh huh, and he's immobilized. Immobilized. Okay, and that is how number five is immobilized. He takes four damage. I know nothing about this game. <laughs> okay. Next. Not this game. I know this game. Uh, next up, I guess, is me. Yeah. Well, I'm going to just do this this way. It wasn't what I was going to say wanted to do. <laughs> My thing's done. Nice. Hmm. Um, this is really not what I want to do, but I'm just going to do this. You know, no, I'm not. I'm going to do this this way for this first turn. I'm going to shield in case one of them gets to me, which that white wolf might get to me. No, that makes no sense. I'm going to move, and then I'm going to attack. And I can attack uh, the... It would have been those two. Yeah. Well, so it's just that one. That one. So attack of three. I get one. <clears throat> Experience point. Great. Now which one's mine and which one's theirs? That's the monster deck. i got to stop touching that. All right. And to attack. Plus one. So that's four. Uh, and their health is four. So that one's dead too. Cool. Off to a good start. Good start, good start. So the living spirits move, mm -hmm. and they're going to move toward you, because you're the closest, I believe. Yep. Uh, the white one so has a move right. of three. Well, actually, no, wait. They both have a negative one to their speed. So a move two. of two. Two, yes. They both have a move of two? Yes. Okay. So they both have to be, well, their range is three for this guy. Okay. No, Not within range. Can't. Neither one's within no, range. Can't you. Cool. Right. So that's it for them. Uh, so now it is your turn. You, have, you said you moved 69. It is, it <laughs> is. So I'm gonna go one, two. All right, let me come back in. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, did I? No. Oh, wait, no. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and this one. I'm going to, I can attack. Uh, three targets at a range of three. So one, two. Oh, you can get yeah. Three. Put whoever you I want. can actually get. I can get any of them. Yeah. I would say get, so, the hounds have not gone yet. The hounds haven't gone yet. So get the hounds. I would get the hounds personally. Okay. So I'll get. I'll go for these three. Mm -hmm. This guy has a shield. You get one for each enemy that you targeted. So three. Yeah, I get three experience Hi, points. And I don't know how to pick her up. Just pick um, her up towards her chest. I'm going to use this, my piercing bow. She's okay. She still has the ouchie on her tummy, obviously. But so, which this, one are you using the piercing bow on? Oh, all three of them. It's for all it, during a range attack. Ignore all shield values for the entire attack action. Excellent. So, so no shields wait, on the ether. Wait, I should. Because I have this, I'm actually going to attack these three. Okay. Good. Because I have the, mm -hmm. the shield Right, so you're piercing. penetrating the shield. Um, so this one's for the first wolf. 
that yeah. I believe already... Six is the one that you... No. Yeah, six would be the one that... He did damage to, that's immobilized. Did to, yeah. Okay. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to do these three. Okay. Because so he's immobilized, so he can't move. Correct. So I'm going to do these three. So wolf plus zero, so that's two, three. three to him. Mm -hmm. Three to him, so he is wounded, but and not quite out. fire emblem comes out. And the fire emblem comes out. Uh, this is for the gold guy. That's a plus one. So four total. So four for him. Four to the living spirit, and it ignores shields, so ignores he is shields. gone. Sweet. And then the last one is a plus zero, so that's three. It yeah. also ignores shields. Yes. Okay. So Boys. one, two, three. Yeah. All right, so these ones, like one, two, three, four, and three. So this one has one left. This has two left. That's all they have left. All right, there. so all right, it's gonna go here. All right, time for another round. The the wolf goes. Uh, the wolf goes, but he can't move because he's immobilized. Oh, the other wolf. Uh, the move is negative two, so he has a move of one. So that's all they can do. I never moved my buddy. Does he need to move? Because he only has a movement of two, he'll never catch up if I don't move him every turn. Okay. Uh, but if that's the case, oh, he he's immobilized. He can't do anything. Yeah. All right. So now it's our turn again. It is it is? Living bones are gone for right now. I actually think that theirs come out before. No. They don't. Nope. Ours come out first. No, theirs come out first, but after we've decided. Yeah, I'm saying we we have to decide well, first before we see I've, what their I've initiative read, is. I've read I've read other things that you get to know their initiative. Hello, fuzzy logic. Summons don't summons don't move or act in the turn that you summon them. They move before you do on your turn. Okay, well that's where he's gonna move at the beginning of my turn. I'm going to go late, but I should be able to take care of them both. I'm going very late, um, but I'm going to get us into the next room. Hopefully you're having a good Wednesday if you're here in the States. Hopefully you have the day off tomorrow to enjoy the festivities. Hopefully have a cookout or something. Spend time with family and friends. Watch the fireworks. Okay. Okay. And so their initiative is 83. I'm 61. I am also 83. And I'm 72. So I actually go first. You do. That surprises me, but I'm okay with this. So I'm going to move three. Um, and I'm not going to actually use the push feature, but I can jump. So I'm actually going to go one, two, three, end up here. And I'm going Fun to... Size. Thank you so much for those 20 unicorn biddies. Thank you. Oh. They don't like each other. They don't. They explode a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to do sleeping, uh, Sweeping Blow, which I do two attacks to each one. You get rain oh, you don't get rained out. I get that. All right. Um, so first I'm going to do it to the little white guy. Negative one. Uh, but it still get, takes one damage, which is enough to kill him. And the next one 
Misses. Ouch. So next is me. It's really low. What? The music. You want me to turn it up a little bit? I can turn it up a little bit. Yeah, because it's like very. Well, it's low for us too. That's yeah, just us. Like, that's our speaker though. Yeah, I'm gonna turn our speaker up. One, two, three, four. I turned it up a little bit. Let me know how that is. Uh, and then, so I'm just gonna do the regular two attack. I'm just gonna swipe at him. Okay. Uh, plus zero. So that two actually kills him though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so a coin goes there. Okay. Cool. I am actually going to use my jump. So one. Okay. So I don't have to go all the way around. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see what's Which in the next room. This flips over. Because that is, a, in fact, a door. So the next room, somebody else has it. I don't have it. Derek, do you have the little booklet? Can I hand it nope. to you? Oh, it's down here. Sorry. Much better. Is that right? Is that right? Does it need louder, softer? Ice boys. Ice boys. Did I get the right okay. ice boys out? Yeah. And how many do we need of those? And what kind do we need? We need two four. whites and a two gold. Two white and a yellow. Well, it's actually three white and a yellow. And then a white living spirit. So he's gonna go. Yeah, right there. Okay, so are hounds done for right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hounds are done for now, yes. Okay. So I'm going to put hounds here, put frost demons down here. Okay, um, these guys? Yep. Grab that gold boy. Gold boy. Two whiteies and one. Whitey. Okay. Now, because we opened up that door, they go on this turn. Yeah. Yes. So, Frost Demon. All right. 18, 18, so they go now. Well, they're going to go after I finish my... Right, that's what I'm saying. After and then Living my... Spirit, yeah. that Living Spirit's going to go as well. Yes. 55. But well, you're 83, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm the last one of us. What is their movement? Ooh, this may not be good, you guys. What's their movement? Which one? The, uh... Frost Demons? Three. Three, and then four for that one. Which one did you... Which thing did you use? I used this one. And I was going to go ahead and attack. Range of three. Oh, wait. One of these things came out last time. The fire did. It should be back one. But if I go in there, they're going to uh, swarm me. Well, they can get to you anyways right now unless you can back up. Do you have I can movement? back up. Do you have one movement left? I have two movement left. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, one movement left. I mean, I would stay back up one or... just so they can't get to you. Because if you can stay out of their range, then we can at least plan for them. And also by having it here, we have a bottleneck. Only one can come to us at a time. Mm, that's true. Metamami is out watching like, fireworks. I feel like I'm going to... It's like a waste of... Hmm? I mean, it is what it isn't. Or... Well, it, it is a waste, but it's a waste of that turn, but... It's here but i opened up the door so you okay. all are welcome to get in there all right so that's the end of the turn so now these people go so first the frost demons shit shield the two move four hmm. but they move four not three this turn one two three four no they only move three. Two, oh, three, I'm looking four. at move plus one no these two only move it's two. Oh, sorry yes you're right, sorry. This Only one, one of them gets three. to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Hi, sweetie. I love you. So that one's going to get to you. Uh, it has a shield of two for this turn, but it suffers one damage because of yeah, the fire. Yeah, because of the fire. Don't they all? Do they all? Yeah, they all do. Yeah. They all do. They'll all suffer one damage. So, which ones we have out there? We have two, one, five, and six. So they all suffer one damage. All right. So that one is on you. So that's gonna take a swipe at you. Plus two. So that is a total of four, da five damage. You could discard two cards if you want to. I'm gonna have to because my dam my uh, total is six. So that negates the damage. Yes. If I discard how many? Two. two. Is it random? I believe so. Doesn't say on there. Well, we love you being here, Fuzzy Logic, as long as you're referring to this place. Uh, I love when she gives love. Two, three. Like when she climbs up, like right here, she needs. What is the uh, uh, spirit yes. movement of two? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's all they can do this is turn. Your belly, huh? Is your belly okay? All right. Next round. Yeah. Um, kind of. We're doing fairly well at the moment. I'm going to actually use my minor stamina potion. Well, the thing is, is that it's during your turn. Oh. I'm going to do that as well during my turn. I would have done that during my last turn if I realized that. If I would have known that, can I do that now? Because I would have done that during my last turn. sort of winning if you are new to the channel we are board game house we play board games on the internet for you we play games monday wednesdays and fridays at 7 p.m eastern standard time mondays and fridays we play regular board games like tan and betrayal and ticket to ride etc and on wednesdays we go back and forth between uh our ah happy butts for links uh thank you pine size for the 25 bits uh, Wednesdays we go back and forth between our legacy game, which right now obviously we are playing Gloomhaven. Um, we finished up our playthrough of Betrayal Legacy like two months ago, something like that. It's all up on our YouTube. You can go watch it if you want. Which is youtube.com slash board game house. Critical original, I know. <laughs> and then on the every other Wednesday we play our 5e homebrew DD campaign, Three Sheets to the Wind. Which all of those episodes are also on YouTube. You can catch up on those. What are the what, what is there? Are we ready? No, oh, we have to blow rise first. Nope, there first. Nope. Fifty-eight. Seventy-five. Sixteen. Seven. <laughs> 61. I slipped over the wrong one. So you go first, Megan. This is called Heroes by the Diabolical Waffle. Mm. It's your turn. Okay. So I'm going to move. 
Where do you like to move to? One, two. Where's my range? Spark. No, I can't because I can't hit him. No, you can't. You have to stay up there. I have to stay here. But his move is going to be down to. She has to hit him I this turn. I have to hit him this turn. Gotcha. <laughs> um. So did that. So I'm going to attack. Wait. Can you attack first, then move? No, because I would be it's at disadvantage. Oh, sorry, I didn't know That's okay. Um, so I'm going to move there, and I'm going to attack him. There's no elements out. There are no elements out. It got used the last two. round. Two. Um, so it's going to be two... One damage. Old boy is number two. So now he is down to eight. That just got really loud. Did that get loud for you guys? Hi. Is that it for you, Megan? That is, in fact, it for me. You use your stamina potion. I'm turning yes, it down a little bit. Use my stamina potion. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go. My movement is six, and I get one. A victory point. One, two, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. Uh, Wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, okay, yes. Range of three, attacking two of them. Two victory points. first one is the gold boy is a plus one so he is stunned and he takes four damage stunned is which marker uh, it looks like a little explosion blue explosion right there right there stunned and he takes four damage four damage noise what does stunned mean just like curiosity stunned cannot do anything but rest remove at the end of next turn and then for the second guy, mm -hmm. is it plus one as well? So he takes four damage and is stunned. What's that thing say inside? What's that mean on the side of your thing? And I can heal myself plus two. Oh, okay. Nice. So he takes four damage as well. You said yes. So that is the. Actually, that means he's dead. Yep. So number six is dead. Queen. I have a sweet little kitty on my lap. Two's out. All right, and that's your turn. So that guy can't move though, right? Yeah, he's he can't do anything on his turn. All right, so everything else can everything else moves. So their move is minus one. So these ones have a movement of one. And this guy has a move of minus one, so just one. And he, he has a range, but he can't do anything. All right. Does that frost guy not move? Oh, he's stunned. He's stunned. Yeah. I'm there. Uh, so it's my turn. Oh wait, living spirits haven't gone yet, but it doesn't really matter. They're not gonna get be able to get to us. Um, so I'm going to move four. Kitty is currently in my lap, enjoying loves and falling asleep. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to attack him with six. So I get two points. Plus one. So that's seven damage. He's very dead. Yeah, he's very dead. And that is the end of this round. So I lose this card. The card is lost. So there's two ice demons and a mist walker left. Mm
she finally calmed down, so now she's asleep on my lap. Because she is a sleepy little baby. Alright. I'm going early, and I should be able, as long as, I, as long as this doesn't screw me, I should be able to take care of that guy by myself. Okay. So he won't be coming near us. Um, and the other ones shouldn't be able to get to us this round. So if you guys have range you guys can do to them, that'd be best. Okay. Little ball of fur. Look at that face. I know, she's so happy. <laughs> She very much likes her chin scratched. Then, do you know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's your turn. Seventy-eight. Sixty-one. Excellent. Twenty. Ten. Twenty. All right. So I am going to just use the move action of this one. So I'm moving here. Hey, down the vent. Hello. And then I'm going to do my spirit dagger, which is a range of three, so I can get him. And. Uh, an attack of three. Chalice, thank you so much for those 20 biddies for the happy sleepy kitty. Plus zero, oh, no, so sorry. it's still three damage. He only has a health of... Five. Not dead. Fudge. Sorry, guys. I didn't read that right. So he has one health left. No worries. Next is 20. Do you care if I go You go first? ahead and go. Okay. Uh, movement of four. One, two, Don't three, move your little guy. three, four. Uh, and a tick. Mr. the ink bomb. One for each enemy targeted. Range of three. So I get them both. Didn't you use that already? What? No. The ink bomb? But no, I'm not use using the He used the net. He's my net. Oh, okay. Attack of four. Range of three. Getting them first. Frost Which one are you? These two. two. Okay. Frost boy first. Misses. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. Next one. Plus zero still hits, so the moon comes out. Mm -hmm. It's already out. Um, four damage to the living spirit. Okay, he has a shield of one, so he's still dead. Shield of one, but he's still dead. Nice. Balls. All right. Megan. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, you've already done. So now it's their turn, right? No, it's my turn. Oh, yeah, okay. That's right. I have not gone yet. Sorry. <laughs> um. So I'm going to do frost armor. First, it goes here. Um, and then I'm going to use impaling eruption mm -hmm. on him, uh, which gives me one here. Um, and that is three minus two. one, but that's two, so, so he's, dead. he's dead. Okay. And another coin you get on that square. Balls. Uh, and now this guy gets to go. Frost so, boy. Frost Boy, he has a movement of negative one. So oh, the one. green, uh, the leaf comes out. Okay. So he's still right up in my face. Um, so he's going to hit you for three. Three damage. Three damage. 
And does that mean that this comes out? Yes. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Hi, Cabin okay. Ray. Okay, 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 okay. Rachel, why does it? Sat it. I don't know why I said her name like that. That's what you're supposed to do. She doesn't count. All right, have we moved on? Yes. I am going to do a short rest. Will you shuffle these and... Chalice, thank you so much for the 200 biddies. Everyone check to see if you got some extra pride. Nope, emotes. it's July. Nope, they're still doing it. They're still doing it. A cheer shared rewards to three others in chat. Oh, they made them permanent. So, yes, if you cheer 200 bits, you're sharing emotes. <sighs> shitty titties. Do it. Shitty, shitty Dare titties, you. Titties, titties, shitty titties. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. oh, I wasn't supposed to get shuffled down. That's fine. Oh, crap. I can't do that if I wanted to. Did you get hit? Mm-hmm. I can only get healed one, though. Okay. I'm gonna be... Is any, did, has anybody lost health? No. I'm gonna be slow. I'm gonna be somewhat quick based on what we've seen so far with these guys, but I'm gonna be slow for now, and it's gonna take me a minute to be able to catch up to you all. I'm gonna kill it. I was gonna kill it too. Okay. I mean, if you kill it, that's fine, but yeah. Ready. All right, ready. Let's see. So, this guy? No, Frost Giant. Oh. Frost Demon. 78. 17. Uh, 32. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is loot two. Smart. And I get one experience point. And this guy's the way. Do they have to be adjacent to you? Just two away from me. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to attack, whack at it. Minus one, still one. One damage to the frost guy, so he's not dead yet. He's not yet dead. No, I thought he was much more hurt than that. No. Okay, so I'm not gonna kill him. Okay. But that helps me, so that's a good thing. Can we talk about how cute this is right now? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do this. Move four. Move four. So just move one, two, three, four. I'm trying to get closer to the exit. Go ahead and move your guy if you want. I have a great screen towards the room, otherwise he's never gonna get up to us. Alright. Um, yeah, I got all those coins, it's fine. So and then I'm going to do I move that one. So I'm gonna do the attack three. That's wrong deck. Shoot, I've been doing the wrong. What the? This is my deck. How did a monster thing get? There you go. I put a picture in the Discord of what is currently on my lap at the moment. Which is pretty darn adorable. Okay, so three minus one, so two. Still up. Still up. Megan will kill him. Um, no. <laughs> and I also push him two. Oh, even better. So 
I'm going to recover all of my lost cards here. Nice. All the lost ones. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And the moon stays out. Kevin Ray! The Ray. ice and the leaf should be down on the second level. I shall three of these should. Nope, the moon just came back out. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to move two. Okay, so now it is his turn. He does get to move one. But he's only going to be attacking me. Mm -hmm. His attack is three. Minus one, so two. move my hand, my arm. I'm going to go quickly and I'll take care of him. Okay. Oh, we're going again? Yeah. So, just start, everyone start moving their way towards the other room. Flying fish! That fish who's seen some shit! get to the door? No. No. You're going early? Yes. And barring me completely missing, he'll be dead. Okay. Okay, Derek, I'll take that card since you're done with it. Frost Demon, 58. Okay. 37. 18. 83. Okay. Uh, Derek, how low are you? Just one. You only lost one health? Okay. Because so I was going to heal you if you needed it. No, I got I got boosted. I got temporary hit points right. from my card. Then I'm going... Oh, wait. Then these things all go down. Yeah. Huh. But I'm going to heal myself then to get myself back up to full and then I'm going to attack this guy it's an attack of three minus one two so he's still dead yay Excellent. so now we just gotta get to the door and that is this is a really long uh, thing yeah you have to use your cards to move and it's affecting my turns all right the boy moves and I move. Where did you move? I don't know because I don't know where that move four went. There it is. You got the wrong card? Yes. Move four. One, two, three, four. Uh. No one else needs healed, right? Right. Okay, I was going to heal him. I'll just heal myself. Yep. Okay. Right, though, in. I'm going to move eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Um. Uh, I have the jump feature. Yeah. Um. So no. The shortest. So I would go that way, but no, actually this way is faster. Um, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Nope. Four. Four. Five. five six, six. Seven. Eight. eight. Yes. That is indeed how I'm going. Okay. Um, and then this doesn't mean anything. Can you use it for move or? Nope. Either? Okay. I can only use it to attack. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let's... Actually, 
I mean, we can't go back and get this stuff anyways. Yeah. So. Just gonna do that so we can move everything down a little bit to make it easier for everyone to see. We are not yet in that room. Um, that's the end of the round, right? I'm taking a short rest. I am doing the same, so I have to discard one of these cards. What's a long rest do? Uh, you can heal. Oh. But that counts as your turn. You don't get to actually do anything. I don't need to heal. I thought I could just get all these cards back. I'm going real late. Well, yeah. I have a passed out kitty on my lap. She is still passed out. She's just in a slightly different position. Is anyone opening the door? Uh, I can't get there. I can, but it will be late. Late, late. Late, mm -hmm. late. So if you all can go real late. Well, I can't go that late. Sup, Belmont? Sup, Belmont? Thank you so much. Two months in a row. Making all those biddies explode all over the place. Thank you for that, sub. Welcome back to the Homeowners Association. Two months in a row. If you separated a hundred into quarters... Which quarter would you be going in? Uh, I haven't if quite I decided separated yet. 100 and two quarters, the third. Second. Late third. I mean, I could go fourth quarter, technically. Shit. Oh, actually, you know what, Megan, if you do that... I can open the door, but I did not have a choice. You know what? Open the door. Let's see what happens. Uh. Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. I'm. Bye, Chalice. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good evening. I'm going to be going in the second quarter. Okay. But I'm not going to be able to do anything. All right. Ready? You can't go no. late. I mean, I can go late. I can go very late. I mean, but you can't get up to the... This is going to be just a waste of turn for you no matter what, isn't it? Unfortunately, yes. Okay. Alright, well... Wait, where's the boy? Sorry. He was there. Sorry, I'm not ready yet. What? H? No, it's just it just hurts. I'm sore, and I'm currently like can't move this side of my body. Hey, hey, cabaret! Do you see what I'm wearing on my chest? I made that. <laughs> You're petting you and Derek. That's weird. Stop. Do I have to? My lay nipples down? are here. Do Still, I have stop. to lay down two cards? Yes. Why? Yes, you have to lay down too. And anyone that's going to Gen Con should wear this to the meetup. Should wear whatever BGH gear they have to the meetup. Please. Let's represent. Let's show those wormlings what's for. What's for? I mean, to be honest. Yeah. TBH, that's probably what I'm wearing too, so we'll be twinsies. Either way, you can either wear that, or you can wear your ringer tee of the, of the art that you drew. Well, I'll always spoil that surprise. It wasn't a surprise. She knew about it. Have you figured out what you're doing yet? 
I know what you're thinking, but we really need to move into the next room. What am I thinking? I was thinking you were going back for those two. No, no, no. I don't care about the coins. Okay. The little boy will get the coins. Okay. I was trying to set my trap at the door, but I can't. I, there's no. I can't. I don't have any movement that I can get there. Well, I'll set it on the next, the next round. I'm gonna be through the door. You're going through the door. I'm going through the door. You're. Okay. I have to. Bye, Seth Belmont. Bye, Seth Belmont. Thank you so much. All right. Agent Wings, you know you want to represent the BGH. So there's no enemies. I'm going 17. Shit. I'm going 87. 69. On the off chance one can get to me, which I doubt. Okay. I move two to open the door. You don't need heal, do you? No. Okay. I, I will. <laughs> I need two to open the door. I move okay. two to open the I can't move. Somebody else is going to have to move me. Sorry, okay. I was looking at what my second action was going to be. I can't do anything. That's okay. Okay, let's see what's in the room. It's down there. There are a bunch of wolves. There are a couple wolves, yes. Okay, 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 okay. There is a... Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, good. There's a white... No, nope, it's over. There. Yes, living there's spirit. a white living spirit. Two white wolves. And then another white living spirit. Uh, and, an, and two more white living spirits and a gold ice boy. Two more white living spirits? Yeah. And the gold ice boy. Mm-hmm. There's, there's the living spirits. And a gold ice boy. Okay. Well, Megan, what's your secondary action? I'm you finish to decide. your movement. I'm gonna move one more in. Here or here? Uh, there. And then I'm going to do this one. Fire orb. A okay. range of three, and it attacks three, and so I'm going to this do this one or this one. No. Or it's gonna be the wolf that's right in front of me, mm -hmm. and then the two behind it. Okay. I think is what I want to do. No. Is that what I should do? I mean, they all can get to you. You're really going to be close to going down. You realize that if you do this. If I don't do this, then I've done nothing for the whole the, the thing. Yeah, okay. Like, I have to do some sort of attack. Okay. Okay. So, so you get three experience points for tagging three enemies. Yes. Who are you starting with? Um, let's start with, let's start with the wolf. So that's plus zero. So he takes three damage. Three damage for the wolf. I don't know which wolf it is. Wolf is number five. five. Three damage for the white spirit, which I think is only two damage. Yes, two damage. And what number is that? Four. Four. And the gold boy. Sweet, sweet. Cool boy times two, so six damage. Oof. Very nice. Critical. It was a good time for that to come out. Yeah. And which number is he? Doesn't matter. Cool. Two. Six damage. Ouch. So he has four health four left. Four health left. Yes. All right. Well. Can you shuffle this for me? Mm -hmm. So you've gone. She's gone. It is now. We have to flip over to see what they, when they go. Yes. So, uh, uh, my boy. Hounds are going to be going now. Living spirits are going to be going now. And frost demon are all going to be going now. They're all, they're all straight things though, so that's good. Aprons. Yeah, pick one of those things. Just, just one of those things. Tell them, tell them one of those things. Okay. So. All of those things is too first, much. First is the hounds. So the hounds both move two. I like the hats. Sorry, they move three. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, they're going to attack Megan uh, for two each. So first one, hold on. First one is two damage. Okay. 
Okay. Second one is one damage. Okay. Okay. Still, uh, still standing. I'm still living standing. Spirit. Living spirits next. They have a move of two. Uh, except they're not going to move that close because it's ranged. So they're going to move there. Uh, and those Locked two are going to move two. I'm not going to be standing after this. And they're all going to attack Megan. They have a damage of two. First one, two damage. Next one, misses. Third one. I'm gonna go down. Times two. Do you I'm have down. any? Do you have any? Mat, do you have any? Do you have like the hat home or anything? Huh? No, I've used all of this. Oh, okay. That's like two things you have. All right, just well, I can discard. I'll discard this. I so guess. you're not taking the ult, the crit damage. Yeah. There's one more. I don't have any cards to discard for that. Negative one. So one damage. Still down. That's all I needed. Well, wait, no, it's not. Where's the rules? Because it's not discarding from. I think it's, you have to discard cards from here to negate the damage. I think you discard two to negate all damage. Or maybe it's one. Recover and refresh. Character damage. Uh, start with the damage. Choose one card to lose from his or her hand, or two cards to lose from the discard pile. So you could actually negate. So I could do you this. You could discard both. And then discard again. So you would discard one of them, and then discard to, discard. to get rid of the points from that one. Yeah. And then, and then discard, discard two you. from the discard to negate the points oh, from wait, this one. Oh, wait, no! I am so You still have this, right? Stupid, yes! Okay, wait, what was the first one? What was this the was first a, damage? This was a crit, so this was No, three. this one was first two. First damage. Two. First damage was two. Plus zero was two. Okay, so that yeah. doesn't hit me. What was the second one? One. No, the for, next one missed. Right. Next one missed. What was the next, next one? Next one was a crit. Next one was a crit. So four. So That's that, the one that I negated. Right. Okay. That doesn't hit. What? On the next two sources of damage, do you suffer no damage instead? Oh. Oh. So this one doesn't hit, so you can negate that so one. So I can negate that one right. by doing this, right. which means so. I'm still at five hit points. Yeah. Much better. That's much better. Woo! <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's all of them. Last is the Frost Boy. Frost Boy. Who is going to uh, move three. Pay attention to your extra stuff, ladies and gents. And he's now going to swing at Megan. He has a damage of three. Plus zero. Three. So you're I'm going to go ahead and take that because I can heal. So, two. You have five minus three is two. All right. So that's it. That's the end of that round. Oof. You Did all right? you go? Oh, no, I haven't gone yet. You haven't gone yet, yeah. Um, I'm going to move four. One, two, three, four. And that, unfortunately, is all that I can do. No worries. All right, someone shuffle these so I can discard them. Discard one of them. She is out, out. Like, she's doing the she's doing the thing where her eye is kind of open. Shuffle. That's not terrible. Okay. Can you guys both do range things this turn? Yes. If you guys can, I can play Meat Shield for a minute. Where they can't all get to me. But I would, ho I would hope you guys can do some range to kind of... Uh, knock some of these guys out so I don't take all this damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to get up in there. I'm going to go pretty quick and I'm going to get right up in there. How are you going to get in there? I'm going to get in the doorway. I'm going to stand there. You're getting into the doorway. Okay. Okay.
Oof. Anybody new out there? Right now we're playing Gloomhaven, uh, which is kind of like a legacy game where you have a character and you're taking it through a predetermined scenario. There are a bunch of different scenarios you could possibly do. This is our fifth time playing through a scenario. Um, this game was provided to us by our friends at kickstartedgames.com. A uh, great website where you can get games that are fresh off Kickstarter. You should definitely check them out at kickstartedgames.com. Or follow them on their socials as well. Uh, great people over there. Small company. We like to support small business. I could go really early, but I wanted to choose to go third quarter. Can you go second quarter, or how early is really early? How early is early first quarter? Mo part way through the first quarter? Mine is early first quarter. Well, I mean, that's, that's fine. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Because as long as I go before them, that's a big thing. Because okay. you can move back and get out of their okay. way. Okay. I guess I just have to go before them is the big thing. Which I will. Oh, look at that little belly. I know, she's getting so comfortable. It doesn't look like it's like opened or anything, so she's left it alone. Yeah. So you know why they do the little green thing right there? Why? It is a mark to let other veterinarians know that they're altered. So that way, like, if they, she was ever found or something... First of all, she's been... She also has a chip. Oh, she does have a... She's been chipped? Yeah. I had her chipped. Um, so if... Can someone take a picture of this? Because this is ridiculous. So is it like a tattoo? Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's actually Neat. a tattoo. Like, you gotta get her legs, too. Because that's the funny part. I will post it in the Discord. Okay. Uh, flip over there to their, yeah, their stuff. I'll post this later. Alright. So, Frost Demon. 38. Hound. 26. Living Spirits. 48. Cool. Cool, 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 what? cool. Ryu! Thank you so Thank much you for Thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime. For two months two in a row. Months. I'm going 18. Next month, you will get... Is it a wreath for three months? Mm-hmm. I'm going seven. I'm going 18 as well. All right. So I'm going to move two. So I'm moving one into the doorway and then one toward those little ice crystal thingies. Yeah. And then I am again going to do... Can... Can you... Okay. Good. I'm do fire orb. Okay, so fire comes out. That should go away. So um, I'm going to target. I don't know. I know the, the gold guy. Okay. Um, um, what do you all think? I would get the two frost spirits because living spirits, because they have the range. range. Okay, yeah. Those three? Yeah. I can do that. I'll take those three. So this is for yellow. Gold guy. Okay. You get one for each enemy targeted. That sucks. Okay, so gold guy does not take any damage. Uh, the, this one closest to me, minus one. So two damage. Two damage. So I think one. But it damage. has a shield, so it has one. Two one damage to number three. And then another negative one damage. One damage to number two. And then these have to be reshuffled again. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, baby. Oh, she's like, okay. What was that all about? Go ahead. You all go. Okay. Uh, can I go? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, one, two, three. I'm moving here. And then I'm going to use retaliate. What's that all about? Huh? I push all adjacent allies, all, all adjacent enemies, one away from me. But I can't really push them anywhere. Mm -hmm. So... But I am going to then use right. retaliate. So anytime one of them hits me, I gain. Uh, I, they do two damage to them, as well. 
All right. So, Derek, it is your turn, sir. About, huh? What's up, big girl? Um, I'm going to one, two, three, attack the wolf because it's all that I can see. Okay. I literally think she was yelling because I wasn't petting her. He is poisoned and takes one damage. The wolf takes one damage? No. Nice. Wolf number five. Wolf number five. And the leaf comes out. Uh, actually, wolf number five, that's his fourth damage. He's dead. Oh my gosh, what? What is it, huh? No okay. So now it is all of their turns to move. First is the hounds. Hounds have a movement of three, so this guy's going to move up here. That's the other hound, right? Yep. And then they're going to attack me. Actually, this all should be reshuffled. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you reshuffle after your turn, or do you reshuffle after you draw that card? Reshuffle before you draw again. Okay, so I've been playing that incorrectly in general. Not a big deal, but okay. it is. So the wolves attack towards me. They have a normal attack of no, yeah, no, of two minus one. So I take one damage, and the wolf takes two damage. I just want to say I have two turns left. What? I only have two turns That's left. Fine. The wolf takes two damage. Which one is that? Wolf four. Mm -hmm. four. Okay. And that's all that that guy can do. Next is the Frost Demon. They have a negative one attack, so his attack is one, uh, two. So two damage. So I'm at seven. And he takes two damage, so he's now only two health left. Two health left. I also get a point each time somebody attacks me. Six, seven, okay. Uh, that's that for that. Then Living Spirit. You get a victory point every time somebody attacks you? you gain one victory point each time. You try, each, you try this round. Huh. Uh, then all the Living Spirits are going to move Experience forward. Points. Sorry, XP. All right, and they're going to all attack me. They all have a, an attack of two. I'm going to start with number five. Misses. Misses. Uh, next one. Do I still retaliate even though he misses? I don't think you can retaliate on a ranged attack. Why can't you? How would you reach them? I think it's just retaliation. Well, let's look it up. There's... Retaliate, page 26. It just says attacker suffers damage on here. And I mean, I have daggers, so. A retaliate bonus ability causes the recipient to inflict X points of damage on figures who attack it from an adjacent hex for each attack. A retaliate bonus cannot hex. be accompanied by a range value, which means that the retaliate damage is applied to any attacker within Y hex as a retaliate takes effect after the attack. And yeah, it's only if it's melee. Okay. That's fine. So either way, if the first one misses, Next one, times two. That Ooh. negates it, turns into a zero, so two damage. So I'm down to five. Uh, next one, minus one, so that's just one damage. And last one, just being so cute. plus zero, so two, two damage. Okay, I survived. And I took a short rest. I'm not taking a short rest yet. I'll have to after my next turn. Okay. Can I use both these in the same turn? Is there any reason why I can't? 
The human action is a free action. So why not? I'm going early. I'll be the. I'll probably be going first. I'm going late. First, yeah, super early. As early as I've seen. I don't think he's going to get. And Megan has done seven. Is it earlier than that? No. I have. I have the earliest. You have the earliest ability. But I have the earliest ability, but. I'm going to be going pretty early, pretty close to that. If you have twenty-five. You have so 12. I'll be going this is that. about okay. as close to towing the line of what you can talk about as you get. Yeah. If you divide a hundred into tenths, which, which tenth would you which be? Which percentile in? would you be in? All right. Ready? The first. Yep. All right. So I'm going to flip these over. Eighteen for the frost demon. And he has plus two shield. Uh, hounds. Excuse me. 19. 19. They're all going early. 30-30. Oof. Okay. This is not going to good blow. 17. Okay. So, I'm going 10. Megan? Um, I'm going 80. Or 70. 70. So, are you sure you want to go 70 or do you want to go 21? I wanted to go late so I could decide what okay. I needed to do. All right. But I guess I could go. Go 21, you're going to go before the living spirits. Yeah. Everyone's before you except the spirits. All right. Then I'll, yeah, I'll go 21. Okay. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to attack first with this attack of three. So I get one experience point. So first I'm going to attack the wolf. Plus zero, so that's three, so he's still dead. Thank God. So there's that. Um, and then next is for the gold boy, who he needs two damage, but he has two shield. Mm -hmm. So I, he only does one damage. I have a one damage is better than no damage. Yeah, but he's still up, unfortunately. Um, okay, on my turn. Oh, and I'm also using my two healing potions. And then, hold on. So I'm back up to eight points. And then I'm going to do this. Any any enemy who targets one of your adjacent allies with an attack this turn. Uh, target you with the attack instead regardless of the range so they can't attack you guys as long as you're next to me first thing cool. I'm doing I can't move. everyone heals one. Oh, thank you one two <sighs> and then flamethrower uh, I'm using my goggles so this whole thing's at advantage okay um, it's gonna get these three fuckers. Okay. Uh, I get two victory points. The fire token comes out. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be for the gold boy. Plus zero. He is wounded and takes three damage. Um, but he he's only needed dead. one more, so he yeah. just yeah, he's dead. Yay! Uh, this is the this is this one. Do you want to move your guy one to get that gold piece? Yes. Uh, he, number four, spirit is uh, wounded and takes three damage. Uh, which one is that? Four. Number four takes three damage. He's okay. dead. Okay. And then this right. last one. Is that the right? Yeah. Uh, it's plus one. Okay. So he's wounded and takes four damage. That's number two. Number two living spirit? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead, yeah. Okay. So now it is Megan's turn. Uh, 
So we'll know it's the hounds are dead. Hounds are the dead. Everything, is, yeah, okay, everything, got everything it. died. You could probably kill one of them. Probably. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm? I'm going to actually move through you. Yeah. And I'm going to move to there. Um, and I'm going to attack okay. with Freezing Nova. There's a fire emblem out, so... Nope, it's a oh, frost ice. emblem. It's two. Two. He has a shield, though, doesn't one. he? No, two they damage don't have to number three. He has one shield. He's dead. So he has one... So no more damage is going to kill damage. him. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, he was immobilized anyway, so... Well, on he's immobilized with a something mana bolt to the head or whatever it was. Indeed. All right, that's the end of that round. No living spirit. Goes. Oh yeah, you're right. It attacks me because yeah, it's, it's adjacent to you. It's okay. going to attack me. Uh, living spirit have negative one to their attack, uh, but they attack all enemies within range. So does that mean it's going to attack me three times? One time Order. at disadvantage. All enemies. Targets all enemies within range. Any enemy who targets one of your adjacent allies with an attack this round targets you with the attack instead. So all three yep. go to you. Okay. And one's going to be at disadvantage because it's right next to you and it's a ranged attack. But it's not attacking me. It's attacking you. All right, sure. So three hit X. Uh, and their attacks are negative one, so it's only one damage per thing. So three... Two. Are you gonna die? I should have healed you. One. Are you, are you standing? Yep. Okay. All right. I'm done with this guy, so. Because this is your last turn anyways, right? I would go real as long, early. As long as he dies, is the last turn for everybody. Yeah. I'm going real early. I'm going pretty early, like, too. Like, as early as I can. Yeah. I'm going... I'll be Which going short... hypothetically short. should mean he's going to be gone. Yeah. And I'm going to be showing shortly after you, so if you don't get him, I will. He is, you are. You know you are, too. Don't wink at me. Do you know it's an old wives' tale that if a cat winks at you, it means they love you? You mean like the slow blank? Mm -hmm. Okay. What are they doing? Alright, so the only one left. 22! Balls. He's going before me. Not before me, though. 37. He's not going before me, but what we haven't looked at is that there is a uh, reshuffle, and there has been on like three. Oh, it should have been reshuffled before that one, but it's fine. Alright, so I'm going seven. Okay, so you're going first. Yep, I'm shooting him with a mana bolt. Okay. Pew. So well, it's plus one because of oh, that. Oh, yeah, plus one, which also gives me one here. Okay, so it's still two. It's two damage, one damage because of the shield. One damage because of the shield. Okay. One damage because of the shield. Yep. And that's number five. First damage he's taken. And... How many damage does he need? One. One. I can either heal, or I can get coin. Get the coin, he's gonna die. Get the coin. So I'm just gonna move over one. Yeah, it's fine. Because that's, like, that's my last turn. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I'm just going to shoot him from where I'm at because I can see him. Uh, you can indeed see him. So I'm going to get one point. Uh, attack three, range of three. Plus two. He's very dead. Super dead. Yay! Hopefully that the... Uh... Now, Derek, you still have to finish your turn, right? Yeah, we finished the round. 
So you're the only one that's left to go, right? Yeah. Can you can you get over to the chest? No, because it's there's a trap next to it. But I can't jump. You could move through the trap. You could move through the trap, and you would still be living. No, I can only move two spaces. Oh. Because I didn't use my move four card. I can't. I couldn't even have got there anyway. It is, it, it, but it, as you play it more, it does get easier. Do you want to move your <laughs> buddy up? No, I can't get any more coins. So he didn't take any damage. I moved one. And I can't do anything. Okay. Cool. We win! We did it! I don't know where the thing went. It's on the next page. It's a long one. No spoilers. With the last of your adversaries dead, you approach the back of the chamber where a small blue sphere floats above the floor. You slowly reach out your hand and find the orb cold to the touch. With a firm grip on it, the temperature is almost unbearable, but you quickly stash it into your pack and make your way back to the crooked bone. Time. You know what else this reminds me of, this music? Music race. Sky. Yes. You enter the abandoned tavern and call out to hail. With no response, you wander around observing the chaotic mess around you. You wonder how she gets any work done in this environment. As you approach the counter, Hale appears before you, holding the orb. Very interesting. She, she doesn't seem to notice you at all. A rift in our plane somehow contained within a spherical barrier. Good thing you didn't break this on your way back. You easily could have been sucked into a realm of pure frost and been frozen solid before you had time to breathe. Or something worse could have happened. It's just so confounding. Who would have had the power to do this? Hale takes a step to the left and disappears again. You wait for what feels like hours, refusing to sit on the few stools that haven't yet fallen apart. You call out occasionally, but receive no response. Oh, you're still here. You turn around to see Hale in the middle of the room. Good. I'd like to experiment on you, if that's all right. She reaches out to you, and you stumble backward, falling over a table that splinters into a hundred pieces. Oh, don't be a baby about it. I'm pretty sure it will end well. Ah. Hale explains that she wants to try to bring forth raw power from another plane and contain it in a small orb that could give enhanced powers to anyone who's possessing it. The containment process, however, requires a lot of gold metal. Now that you have helped me in the, my endeavor, I suppose I should return the favor, Hale sighs. So what is it, that you, what is it exactly that you wanted? And then, I don't know what that means. Well, 7, 19, 31, and 43. Are those... Those gold chests? Are those chests? Oh, no, are those... Are those places? Those are no, new places. 7... No, we already have 19. Well, maybe we just get it if we didn't have it already. 7? Yep. 31? Okay. And 43. We also get an achievement. The power of enhancement. Right, let's move this stuff and bring the map out. Just the stuff that's not in the flat. You knocked my phone down. I get a checkpoint. Oh what yeah, let's see. What was your thing? Hunter? Hunter, kill one or more elite monsters during the scenario. I killed four. You did. Uh, reveal a room tile by opening a door during the turn on a scenario. So I get a check mark too. And I get two check marks. Ooh, fancy. What's yours? Loot no money or tokens or treasure overlay tiles during the scenario. <laughs> no wonder you weren't picking anything up. Which means I can now do another thing. Check. I already checked. Is the conversion thing in this? And I add one yeah. plus three. Yeah. 
What was the scenario level? Uh, zero. We're playing on normal. Okay. So what is it? Gold conversion is times two. I have no gold, so that's fine. Bonus experience is plus four. Okay. I think I can... Yeah, I'm going to level up. I'm going to level as well. Plus... So times two. Okay, she has woken up. Well, someone set her down gently in the floor. I got so much gold. Oh, holy crap. Pencil, please. I think that's the fastest we've ever, like... Plus 20 is... Do we want to do a city event? 63. We also, we need to put all the... experience is plus 16. So... 63 plus 10 is 73. I need to put all the things. Okay. Okay, so what do we need? I need seven. Okay, 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 okay. We really need to go through and mark which ones of these we've done. Yes, with a marker. Seven. Mm-hmm. That wasn't quite what I where it needed to be. Uh, that's pretty, that's it's not, pretty good. It's not terrible. 31. 19, 31. This looks like it's actually in Gloomhaven. 31. In the Traveler's District. Oh, it is. And 43. The Drake Nest, it looks like. Mm. She's like doing this. And then what was our achievement? Uh, the power of enhancement. I don't see 43. It's gotta be on here somewhere. Forty-two. Forty-three. The power of enhancement? Mm-hmm. It's a global achievement. Yeah, here it is. <sighs> Alright, do we want to do a city event card? Do we want to do anything else? Well, if I go into the city, I get to level up. Cool, cool, cool. I do too. So even though we level up, it doesn't increase the amount of experience points we get. No, it just increases your health. So my health is now up to 12. This is times two. Yeah. So four. You should have gotten four. I did get four. Oh, I thought... 31 to 35 is four. Oh. I did, I did, I can math. I thought you I thought you had written down three. And then done plus two. Oh my god. How did I how did I get out of dark mode? I hate this. <laughs> so we go back to the city. Back to the city. Ooh. For a second, so we're gonna do a city card. Yeah, sure. Well, what okay. if you level up? What happens when we level up? Hmm? Nothing. We you just level up, and then that means that you now when you're gonna set up your health. Oh, I get seven. Oh, we get to add cards too, actually. So then you get to add one card. Yeah. 
When a character gains the amount of experience posted on the table to the right, they must level up. Leveling up only occurs in town. When a character reaches a new level, add one new card to their active card pool. The card selected must be from the character's class and have a card level equal to or less than the character's new level. Additionally, when level up, the player can mark one of the perk boxes on the right side of I the character sheet. Box. This signifies an evolution of the character's oh, attack modifier deck. Apply the bonuses of the marked perk box to the character's modifier deck using the class's accompanying deck of available modifier cards. If a perk has multiple checkboxes next to it, this means that the perk can be gained multiple times for the cost of one perk each. Lastly, leveling up also increases the character's hit point total, uh, as indicated on the character mat. Leveling up never changes the character's maximum hand size. This is fixed for each class. Can you flip to the deck? Can I play? Which one where's are you looking my, at? Where's my box? Can you get my box? There we go. Don't forget to take at? out the three uh, star negative ones. That was just for that encounter. Well, I, I used all mine. Used, yeah, I used a couple of them. I still have a luck in here from. Oh, crap. Check out that one. Oh, dang. Oh, it just means those come out. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, these are both pretty good. I'm going to replace one of my negative ones with a plus one. And that comes from your... Let's see. Yeah. Derek, which one of those do you think is more useful? <laughs> hey, Neon Froggy! Hello, Neon Froggy! Hey, yeah, yeah, that works. Boom Haven Noises always works. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm replacing this, so I want this somewhere that, in the box. I don't want think, it in mine because I will get confused. I think the juggernaut we'll is better. In. What was that? I think the juggernaut is better. You know that one can just kill an enemy straight out. Oh, Jesus. Um. Are oh, those city things in this spiral book? The what? city things are on cards. No, it's on cards. I'll grab one. What does muddle mean? Muddle. Disadvantage on attacks. Remove at the end of the next turn. You're sure those are all the cities? Yes. These are the ones we're supposed to have. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Stop. That's our city one. Read it. It was a truly marvelous night, full of alcohol and fuzzy memories. You're heading back to your rooms in high spirits when you take a wrong turn into an alley and trip over a mutilated corpse. What's all this then? You look up to see a city guard walk into the alley, annoyed by all the noise you were making in your revelry. Before you can react, he draws his sword. You! What did you do? You look and see that, due to the fall, 
Your clothes are now covered in blood. The guard clearly thinks you're responsible for the man's death. This night just took a serious turn for the worse. Oh no. Option A, do your best to explain that the man was like this when you found him. Or option B, panic and kill the guard, then dispose of both corpses. Neither of these sound like a good plan. From my perspective, Scourge, a drunk Scourge, would very much hide both corpses. He probably has a vat of acid that he would put them both in. Your, your character would do that too, wouldn't he? A drunk, yeah. This is The character I have is more or less kind of like Grog. Uh, yeah. well, I guess my character is just sitting screaming over in the, on, in the corner, probably in a fetal position crying. Option B. The unlucky guard falls to your blade before he's able to call for help. If the bodies are found, it could cause a lot of trouble for you. Pay 15 collective gold. You go looking, uh, someone... Pay 15 collective gold. You go looking okay, don't for read someone who can properly dispose of the mess. It's just, it's a, there's, it's, it's... If you can pay 15 collective gold, this is what happens. I know, but I'm, there's a... Uh, is a spelling error, a word error. Okay, but I'm saying that there's also an otherwise, so we can choose to do one right. or the other. We can either collectively pay 15 gold, or not. I mean, I don't have that much gold, but I'm willing to pitch in. I literally have eight gold to my name. You son of a bitch. How much gold does Scourge have? A lot. Scourge has so much gold. Scourge could do it on his own and it wouldn't really I could do it on my own. One, two, three, four, five, six, six times. Will you please take Can care of this? Can you please take care of it then? Uh, yes. Alright, so we pay 15 gold. You go looking for someone who can probably dispose of the mess. It's not cheap, but one of your contacts promises to make the bodies disappear. So nothing else happens? No, no effect. effect. So I just lost 15 gold you are on paying it all? Yep. Yep. I have 35. I have 8. So... Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> when we go... Before we go next time, I want to go to the shop. I would, but I have no gold. I didn't say anything about me buying things for people. I could buy something for you. I mean, I don't really need anything necessarily. Well, I'm sure shit not buying anything for anyone ever again. <laughs> hadn't bought anything for us anyway. Well, I was just making sure that you all realized that that wasn't going to happen. It wasn't I gonna... paid to get rid of this body! I'm not paying for you all to do anything else! It wasn't going to happen anyway! I don't know why we have to pay this guy. I could have done it myself! Okay. That's probably the fastest we've gotten through one, though. It is. So I don't know if that means that it was just like a short one or we're actually getting better at this. I think we're actually getting better at this. Because I also feel like we're not, get, we also didn't have, besides at the very end you're running out of cards, I don't feel like we had an issue with uh, running out of cards, frankly. <laughs> like we, did, we weren't gonna run out of turns. Well, it is only 9.15. Do we want to play a small game? We can do that. Small games. Stop it. I'm gonna go back to this <gasps> for a minute. Yeah, she just dropped a coin. She's probably taking off with it. Hello! <laughs> I mean, now here's the question. Do we want to play a small game or do we want to just have one short stream a because short of the stream. fact that this is going to take forever to clean up? This is going to take a minute to clean up. Who's streaming right now? I don't know. Maybe we should go raid someone.
<laughs> Hush you. I'm glad you all realize that that's a thing that happens. Oh, well, let's clean up. I'll go get another game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's making so many weird noises. Okay, so we have a couple of different options. Uh, Kambara, uh... Camabar is doing Camabar. Opera Geek is streaming. Uh, Snuggie's obviously streaming. Uh, Holly streaming. If we go to Polly, the people that go with us have the opportunity to win some stuff. True. Yeah, let's go raid Polly. Let's go say hi to Polly. I mean, make sure you guys all pop in there. That you say you're from our raid, and uh, remind him to bring stuff to give away at the meetup. And Gen Con, just say, and you know, BGH raid Gen Con meetup hype or something along those lines. Wormhood. Neighborhood. It's already been put on things. Neighborhood sounds like. A house with a heart on. Listen, neighborhood has been a thing for so long, you should have said something a long time ago. <laughs> right. Wormhood is just better. Should have said something a long time ago. I feel like I did. You didn't. All right, so we're going to do that. Been, Let me get I this set up real quick. an official thing. I've been saying wormhood in tweets and Instagrams. It's been neighborhood. So let me get over here and get this set up so we're ready to do the raid. So that's happening. If you like what you saw, we are real close to our goal of 500 followers. Yeah. 29. 29 is close. It's less than 50. And considering it's only the third day of the month. So if you like what you saw, consider hitting that heart button. Just let you know when we go live, and it doesn't even do that unless you click the button. Yeah, so. that's what I usually say. Yeah, so we're going to go... Picked up so many of my things. Bye! No. Yeah. Ears. They, they... Don't take that thing. That's my thing. All right, so we love you guys. On thing. Friday, we are playing a new game we've never played before, um, which is... <laughs> Thanos Rising. Uh, Thanos Rising. Uh, we're going to have a special guest, uh, a guy that does a lot of, for a lot of great organizations here in West Virginia involving gaming. Um, his name's Chris. He'll be joining us here on stream. Um, but yeah. But Gen, yeah. Con. Gen Con. Four weeks away. Gen Con. Officially. Con. So we love you guys and we, love you. we will have see you on Friday. Happy 4th of, of July. And for you, those of you in the States, have a safe and happy 4th of July. Fireworks. Bye, guys. Patriotism. Only this one day, though. You don't have to do it all the time. But I don't want to rush them out. It's only 9.15. I can sit here and vamp for a few more minutes. But I'm in peace. Bye!